To the Moon is a game about two scientists whose jobs are to help a dying man achieve his dreams of going to the moon. Throughout the game, the pair have to figure out why he wants to go to the moon and how they can get him to achieve this goal before he passes away. This leads to a scientist exploring the house, talking to those close to the man, and traversing through his memories from his most recent to his childhood in order to figure out just how to get to the moon. In the beginning of the game, you get to pick which scientist you want to explore with, be it Ava or Neil. But through the majority of the game, you'll play as both as they complete tasks together to put Johnny's memories together and ultimately help him reach his goal. It is recommended that you play this game through headphones because the music is very relaxing and I found myself playing it a lot at night just to kind of wind down because that is how relaxing the music in this game is. You do have some small puzzles to solve in order to build mementos in Johnny's memories that you use to progress forward and backward through his mind. Now these puzzles are not difficult at all and it really won't take you that long to finish the game. Overall, I found this to be a really chill and relaxing game more than anything. The story does start off sad as you learn Johnny is dying and you learn more about him through his memories. But as you progress through his life, you won't be disappointed by the ending of this game. Overall, I would definitely recommend it for anyone who likes story games that make you feel good inside. The scientists interactions with each other were very funny at times because it really does remind you of what actual co-worker relationships can be like when you get along but don't really get along. Once you finish the game, you unlock all of the game's music so you can play it back whenever you want to. And I thought this was a great feature to have because it's similar to the Femcon Detective Club games that I've also reviewed on my channel. But if you want to go back and listen to the music, you have that available to you once you finish the game. So I thought that was a great feature, honestly. The game itself is under $20, so you're not going to break the bank if you choose to buy this game. So I would definitely say go out and get it if you haven't gotten it. If you like good game music, this is one you want to play. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed this game review. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this game or if you plan to play it. I do hope you like and subscribe to my channel for more content.